Good morning, everybody. This is Roxanne Steed. I'm here to share a, a new thing I just got, um, a Conklin pen and some diatromentous ink. You can see I've already opened it. Um, had to look, it's orange. So diatromentous uh, document ink I've been using in black and brown in my fountain pens. Um, I have a couple of Lamy um, Safari fountain pens. This pink one I have my black ink in and the aqua blue pen I have some brown ink in. And both of the inks are by uh, Diatromentous Document Ink so that I can use them with watercolors. They're waterproof. And um, anyway, so I thought, boy, it would be kind of fun to um, have some orange ink. I'm thinking like an, a painter and, you know, some, some of the lighter layers that I put on first in paintings. And I thought this would be really fun to try. So let me um, toggle my camera down and we'll open these packages. Oh, if I can get everything running and everything behaves. Let's see. Oh, come on computer. All right, webcam, this has got to be it. Here we go. Gosh, tech, you know, you gotta love it. So anyway, I got my um, pen and the ink from Goulet Pen Company and you know, you get a nice little packing slip and they're, they're just a really wonderful company to, to deal with and order from. They have a great selection of pens and ink as well. Let's see, let's get everything aimed up here. Gosh, Monday mornings, you wouldn't think they'd be so tough. So I got to show you this pen first. So it's got this lovely box that comes in. Look at this color. I'm so excited. I love orange. It's not a color for everybody. I love orange. So um, I like this marble finish on it. But one of the things that I really liked um, when you open it up, of course, it's a fountain pen. And once I fill it, we're going to have fun writing with this. So this fills by one of these little gadgets. This is how this pen is built. Um, it's got this little twisty thing at the top. You push this plunger all the way to the bottom. You're going to stick it in your ink bottle and then you're going to twist. And that it creates a little air suction. So it pulls the ink up into the this little canister and then you put it all back together and then you start writing. So a lot of pens, the way that they're built, like um, my Lamy's, you know, they're, they're made for, you know, the little cartridges that you buy and cram in there. Um, and to get this part, it's an extra it's called a converter. So you have to buy a Lamy converter to be able to stick in there. And it's, you know, not a big deal, but it's, you know, an extra purchase. But with the Conklin, um, that's, you know, they're made that way to be able to use bottled ink so you can carry it with you. So I was looking at the little brochure and, you know, it talks about the Conklin Pen Company. One of the things that I thought was pretty cool was innovator Roy Conklin, um, Let's see, the Conklin Pen Company was established in 1898. So it's been around a long time. I don't know if you can see that, it's pretty tiny. I'll read it. Um, so innovator Roy Conklin of Conklin Pens successfully created the first self-filling fountain pen, giving true mobility to daily writing, which became much loved by renowned American author, Mark Twain. So I just thought that was it interesting little bit of history um, that Mark Twain loved his Conklin pens. I'm sure it wasn't orange like this, or maybe it was, I doubt it though. But anyway, um, let me reopen this. It's all really super securely wrapped. And I see my videos being weird again. Oh, come on, why do we do this? All right, here we go. So, um, I don't know what's with internet service these days. So we're gonna throw this out, I don't need it. And look at this color, ooh, wowza. So I can't wait to try this. So let me show you how I load it. We'll see if the um, camera will behave. 
So you know, take the parts off, you know, the outer part, and you're gonna pull, you know, twist this little plunger so it goes down as low as it'll go. And I like to just, you know, roll my ink. I'm not gonna shake it and get it full of bubbles, but I do wanna roll it and just make sure that it's all mixed up. And then I'm gonna, um, it says to put your pen in there below the air hole. So I'm gonna just dip it down in there and then twist up and then see if I indeed get a pen full of color. All right, let's try that again. Maybe I need to go a little deeper. There we go. So it didn't quite fill all the way. So I'm gonna try that again. So let me push this down, twist it so it all empties out. Now let's dunk it back down here again. Let's try this again. I like to get a full, full load. There we go. And then I will just take a napkin, wipe off the body of my pen so it doesn't dry and then doesn't get all over my hands. You know, I used to be really nervous and I totally avoided fountain pens for a long time because I thought, oh my God, I am gonna be the one who has it all over me. And, and I still, I, I sit at a table to do it. I don't, um, you know, I don't kind of do it on the fly. I am, um, I also usually wear an apron because it's like, I'm just super cautious. I see my video is stalling again. There we go. All right, hopefully this video will behave. I can see it's really being pokey and odd. Um, all right, let's see if we can get this pen running. So usually when I load a pen, I just kind of make some repetitive strokes just to see, you know, how we get the pen loading. I make, you know, little waves. I make the letter, you know, the lowercase y in cursive letters or just make a series of you know, the alphabet, just to get some curves in here going and, you know, see if this indeed runs smoothly. This is a piece of, um, it's a cold press watercolor paper by Canson. It's not a, it's not a really expensive paper and it's wood pulp, it's not cotton. Um, so it's kind of smoother than, it's, you know, relatively smooth. It feels almost like a mixed media paper. Um, so it takes the ink pretty well. It's not, it doesn't have so much, you know, tooth and divots that it, it acts weird on, you know, with pens. So, you know, I think this is gonna be really fun in drawing. I have no idea what I'm gonna draw yet. I might take it out with me on a sketch and, um, I mean, on a hike and do a little sketching out there and, just, play around with that. It, this is, it has an extra fine tip. So if you like bigger lines, you're gonna to wanna to get, you know, a um, bolder tip. Um, I have just used the extra fine um, nibs for a while. So I, I kind of like it. Um, I can write notes in my sketchbook. I can draw with them. Um, and I thought it's gonna be really fun having this, paler line that it's you know nice and warm but you know I can definitely see it and be part of my drawing. So anyway, hope you found that interesting and um, hopefully this video won't be too glitchy. It's um, you know with internet man I there's times that it does get a little it does get a little dicey. I hope you had a wonderful uh, morning and um, go find some time, just go sketch. And if you have any questions about fountain pens, drop a line in the uh, um, comments below. And if you found this helpful, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I've got all kinds of things uh, about sketching and watercolor and um, art in general. So come share the fun. Thanks a bunch, bye.